from Kiev, Ukraine, protesters hurling firebombs stormed a local police station unit in southern Ukraine after authorities refused to detain one of two police officers implicated in the brutal gang rape of a young woman. What happens with the LAPD when this happens on a regular basis and you see incidences of, of police brutality and corruption? Well, when you have Christopher Dorner actually calling them out publicly, oh, we let him just shoot up the town and shoot up women in blue pickup trucks for no good reason other than a vague resemblance and, and small penises and itchy trigger fingers on behalf of the LAPD. But in the Ukraine, wow. And they actually, when, when, when this happens, they do something about it. Because you know what? You give them an inch and they take a mile. And the first time this happened in America, Americans rolled over and took it and just said, fuck it. Yeah, it's the police. They're here to protect us. Yeah, they're there to keep us safe, of course. Oh, I mean, just because it's a protection racket or, or, you know, monopoly doesn't mean that they can't do a good job and serve the communities. And then shit like this happens. And then it happens again and again and again and again. And it happens, you know, every day in America to the point where now you're eight times more likely to be killed by a cop than by a terrorist. And th th that says nothing for all the other cases of abuse and false arrest and abuse of power and theft and rape and, and, and sexual assault that happens because of police officers. And you know what, what, what happens in America? Oh, maybe at, at worst there's a headline. There's a guy gets a, a you know, desk duty for a week and the American people go, oh, okay, yeah, the justice system's really working well for us. <laughs> and then they forget about it. And these guys go right back onto the force after, of course, after a judicious investigation and, and, and you know, in a hearing before an, a judge uh, of the law. But in Ukraine, residents of Radyeveka, some 30, 330 kilometers south of Kiev, continued to rally outside the station Tuesday, booing the local governor and vowing to continue their vigil until the officer is arrested. During the stormy late Monday, protesters smashed windows, broke doors, and set fire to the building while police fought back with tear gas. The case has caused widespread anger among Ukrainians who say that corruption, lawlessness, and the impunity of government officials and their wealthy friends has increased markedly since President Viktor Yanukovych came to power three years ago. The victim, a 29-year-old local woman, was returning home from a bar last Wednesday when she says she was shoved into a car, driven to the woods, raped and savagely beaten by two policemen aided by a driver. The woman remains in the hospital in a serious condition, having sustained multiple fractures to her skull and bruises all over her body. Who does this? What kind of sick person does this? You'd have to be sick enough to accept stolen money for your salary and work in a protection racket in a gang in blue costumes known as a police force. I mean, when a, when a citizen does this, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're made a pariah. When an officer does this, they're generally protected, even in America. And yes, perhaps cases like, uh, as, as blatant and brutal as this, may be few and far between, the cases of beatings and rapes by police officers are, are numerous. We see them in the news every day. I, I mean, I even get tired of reporting them. One of the police officers and the driver have been detained, but the second policeman, whom the woman identified as the main perpetrator, has remained free, claiming he was on duty at the local police headquarters when the crime happened. But the victim, identified as Irina Krashkova, said in a video interview with local media that the police officer was lying. Now, at what point in America do people, I mean, like, this has to change people, really. This has to change. That when you, when you hear a, a police officer saying something about a citizen, that you assume they're telling the truth? Fuck that. Now, I mean, not only is that an absurd proposition to begin with, and you know, just, just looking at the, the piles of evidence, you know, having personally been lied about in court under oath numerous times by police officers? Shit. I mean, it's been legally determined by the Supreme Court that a police officer has no obligation to tell the truth to you as a citizen while he's on duty. As she said, quote, this is not true. I know 100% that he was there. Why? Because he was the first to rape me. He beat me and called me all kinds of names. Kreshkova said in a low, timid voice, sitting in a hospital bed. Her head was shaven and bandaged after surgery, and her face was swollen and bruised. The Associated Press does not generally identify victims of sexual assault, but makes an exception where the victim has publicly identified herself. The two senior regional police officers and prosecutor have been fired for failing to properly respond. The president has ordered an investigation, and the interior ministry minister was summoned to parliament. Zakarchenko 
the interior minister, put the blame on his subordinates, saying they initially withheld the fact that police officers were implicated in the crime. He said authorities were now checking a surveillance video from the police station, which the alleged perpetrator claims proves his alibi. Zakharchenko also called for reform of the interior ministry and a boost of its funding to provide incentives for the best people to serve in the police. Oh, that's it. We just need more money for our racket. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't possibly, like, say, return to community policing, providing for the public safety. Couldn't possibly return the uh, responsibilities for providing for the public safety. As we've seen so successfully in Detroit in the free market that has sprung up in the absence of government policing. Couldn't allow that. No, no, we're going to steal from the people more for our corrupt system. Yeah, that'll do it. The minister expressed his condolences to the victim and her family, though he stopped short of an apology. The speech caused anger among the opposition. Quote, I do not believe your words that you want to reform anything, same as your party, said opposition leader Arseni Yatsenyuk. Do a heroic deed. Write a letter of resignation. Yeah. The crime brought back memories of last year's brutal attack on an 18-year-old in the same region. Oksana Makar was raped, strangled, and set on fire by three young men, some of whom had well-connected relatives. She died of her burns two weeks later. Two of the three suspects were initially released and were rearrested only after nationwide protests. The case galvanized Ukrainians fed up with the corruption that allows people with money and connections to avoid punishment, whether for violating traffic laws or for more serious crimes, like bribing congressmen, like killing children with drone strikes, like spying on Americans, like torturing whistleblowers like Bradley Manning. Yeah, <laughs> in America... Nobody gets away with that. Sir. This is your last story. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. And this is Law and Order.